I guess they called you in to give a statement, too. Yeah. Look, I'll talk to Diane. I'll get you out of this. <laughs> I think that's going to be kind of hard since I was right in the middle of everything. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have to deal with any legal fallout. No, I had part in what happened. It was my choice. I'll answer for the things I did. So you have some bother you? It's okay. I mean, all things considered, it's fine. If you're having second thoughts about, you know, giving your statement to the feds, I... No. No. My offer still stands. Look, it's not that. It's just, it's me, okay? It's every time. I don't know, you know, we go through a situation like we did last night, and it's a high-pressure situation. you got to make split-second decisions. It's all about life and death and in the end you're you're relieved i mean i am that everything is okay but at the same time i kind of feel like everything feels flat now you know like at the end of wizard of oz when everything just goes black and white of course not you've probably never seen the wizard of oz so you have no idea what i'm talking about During this whole thing, you, you stayed calm, made you know, all the right decisions. I'm just really glad I was able to help. Sam, good, you're here. All right, special agent is ready to take your statements now. I would have preferred that he interview you separately, but he insists. It's going to be fun. Jason Morgan, Sam McCall, Special Agent Thomas Rayner. Right. Well, uh, I will be. Uh, I will be outside in the hallway. Should you have any questions or concerns. It's like a Wild West movie with Russians. Five men dead in total. I've only got one question. Why shouldn't you both be charged with murder? Did you and Elizabeth Weber decide to take her children to a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. I've been dating Elizabeth, and I was afraid she and her children could be potential targets. So, Elizabeth and I, we blew a tire on the way up, and while we were changing it, we noticed um, this black van passing by, and we didn't know it at the time, but it was the Russians. They had followed us. After we managed... To shoot the second one, Elizabeth went into the bedroom to check on the boys to make sure they were out of the line of fire, and she noticed that the window was open and Jake was gone. When I got to the cabin, Elizabeth came running out. She was hysterical. That's when Sam jumped in my car and told me they had taken Jake. And then Jason and I tracked the Russians down to this deserted mine, and while we were searching through the tunnels in there, I found one of Jake's shoes, which was great, and then the whole place decided to cave in, and, well, we were, we were back to square one. So we narrowed it down to a uh, roadhouse out near the flats, and I managed to get a look inside, and that's when I saw Jake in a back room being guarded by two armed men. And whose decision was it to try to get the kid out on your own instead of calling the cops? It's mine. mine. It was the only viable plan given the situation. You, walking into a roadhouse full of armed Russian mobsters. Jason knows I can handle myself. I gave her 20 minutes. 
Yes, and I went in, I chatted up one of the Russians, I told him how to use the restroom, I slipped off into the back, and there was Jake. And I couldn't wait any longer, so I walked through the front door, I started shooting, and that's when the Russians returned fire. And when the shooting started, I was able to grab Jake and jump out of the window. The kid was being guarded by two men, where were they? Well, after the shooting started, they went to see what was going right. on. One of the guys I shot must have fallen and triggered the explosive device, because when that happened, I was standing near the entrance, and I was thrown back by the blast. Forensics shows that one of the men died of bullet wounds, one from a broken neck, and the two others died from the explosion. Based on your statements and the forensic evidence, it appears you two acted in defense of a minor child. And I'm prepared to close the case. That's the most I've ever heard you say to a law enforcement official, ever. I just did what Diane asked me to do. Well, I mean, we were Jake's best hope. I'm just, you know, I'm glad everything kind of worked out the way it did, because that might have been a very different conversation in there. There is one person who managed to slip under the radar. The lawyer, Sasha. Oh, she's in the country. I'll handle her. <laughs> Not if I see her first. <laughs>